Hello everyone, it's Charlie, and in this tutorial, I will be taking you through the steps to uh, update your iPhone 4 to the latest firmware, at least at this video anyway, iOS 4.3.3, uh, so that you can jailbreak with Red Snow. And during the course of the video, we're going to be preserving our baseband as well. This is very important for those who want to unlock their phones later. And so I'll be taking you through the steps so that your baseband, or modem firmware as it's commonly called, um, will not be updated. To do this, you are going to need three things. All of these things in which, all the details in which can be found in the link in the description. Please read the article in the link in the description so that you know how to do this and you can follow along with that too. Uh, three things you're going to be needing is the tiny umbrella tool from the firmwareumbrella.blogspot.com. Uh, fix recovery. Uh, if you're doing this on Windows, you're not going to want OS 10. You're going to want the Windows version. But all the steps are the same on the Windows version too. And you're going to want the official firmware uh, for 4.3.3. Now this is the official firmware from Apple and is not the actual firmware. You're not actually making custom firmware. This is the real original official firmware. Okay, so the first step we're going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and show you my iPhone so you can see what I'm working with here. Hello, this is my iPhone 4. And I'm going to go ahead and swipe this and just show you guys the settings menu so that you guys can see that I'm currently running iOS 4.3.1. There it is. And the baseband currently is 21004. And so that's what I'm going to do. Now, however, keep in mind the 21004 baseband is not currently unlockable. However, the purpose of the video is to show you that you can un you can update without without updating the baseband too. So, if you still do have the unlockable baseband of 015900, then this will still work for you and you'll be able to unlock uh, until a new tool comes out. So, so anyway, that's what we're going to do with this, and so that's what we're running. Now this is a, my iPhone is not jailbroken, however it doesn't matter. You can do this from a stock Apple firmware, or you can do this from a jailbroken Apple firmware, it won't matter. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do, obviously, is to go and download the correct tools that you're going to need. So again, download Tiny Umbrella, and download the Fix Recovery, and also go ahead and visit us at hottipcentral.com slash downloads, and just to go ahead and click on the link there for 4.3.3 for the iPhone 4. Uh, and this is the GSM model, not the Verizon model, because the Verizon model doesn't have 4.3 yet. So anyway, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Tiny Umbrella. The latest version of Tiny Umbrella released today, at least when the video is out, uh, is capable of saving your SHSH blobs for the latest firmware. If you want to know more about that, there's a nice little article on our website that will tell you more about that. Moving on. You want to get your SHSH blobs saved for 4.3.3. Once that's completed, then you can proceed with this process. So the first thing you're going to want to do is connect your iPhone to the computer. So just go ahead and plug it in, and it'll pop up right here. So there you have it. There's my iPhone. Go ahead and start the TSS server. That's this button right here. You're going to start TSS server. And then reopen iTunes. Pretty simple stuff. You can try to go fast here. If you can't keep up, just pause the video, come back. It's fine. So here we go. It's warning me right now that there is a new software version available and it's asking me if I would like to update. Uh, hit later, do not hit update. You're gonna restore, not update. That's important. Okay. So if you have data on your iPhone, I don't, so I didn't back it up, but if you do. Please be sure you have a backup of your iPhone before you continue with this. It's very important to have a backup in case something goes wrong. You can get all your stuff back. But anyway, so I'm going to push this over here so you can't see my personal data. And OK, so now we've gotten rid of the serial number and the phone number because I don't want you guys knowing that. But anyway, so there's that. I'm currently running iOS 4.3.1 on my iPhone 4. With the TSS server running, and you'll know it's running because you'll see the check mark in Tiny Umbrella. With that running, go ahead and hold, if you're on a Mac, hold the Option key. If you're on Windows, hold the Shift key. And then click Restore. You're then going to want to find your firmware that you just downloaded. So we'll go down to the firmware, and there it is. This is the 4.3.3 firmware for iPhone 4. Just came out. It's the official release from Apple. It is not a custom firmware. Hit choose, and then hit click restore. And it will go and do its thing. 
extract the software, and your iPhone will begin to update. So let's take a look at what my iPhone looks like right now. And here I am right here. So far it doesn't look like it's doing much, but that'll change pretty quick. It'll prepare the phone for restore. And there it goes. Pretty simple. Again, I'm not going to pause the video, uh, but I am going to skip ahead in the restoration in the restoration process so that you guys can uh, you don't have to sit here and wait for like five minutes because this takes a while. So, but I am going to show you that it starts, and then I'm just going to fast forward through it to the end, so you guys will pick back up with me when it's uh, when it's about done restoring, and you can see. Okay, cool beans. So as soon as it starts, I'll just skip ahead. Okay, welcome back. So you can see in front of me, I have the iPhone 4, uh, I have the error message that everyone was waiting for. And if you weren't waiting for it, then you got it anyway. But this essentially is a 1013 error. It's basically Apple's little way of screwing with you. But essentially, it just puts your phone into a recovery loop. Darn. Good thing there's a way to kick it out of recovery, and that's what we're going to go through now. So to get your phone out of recovery, we're going to use Little, that little thing we downloaded earlier called Recovery Fix. And I put it on the desktop here. And this is a pretty it's simple little tool. If you go inside the folder, there's actually two little files. One is Recovery Fix 4.2.1, the other is Recovery or Fix Recovery 4.3. Obviously, since we're on 4.3, we're going to use 4.3 and not 4.2.1's 4.2.1. Anyway, I think you can kind of get the connection between those two things. To use them, we're going to open up our command line. Uh, this is terminal on a Mac. Uh, Windows has your little MS-DOS slash your run command. Uh, to, to activate your command line base in Windows, just go to run and type in CMD, and it'll bring up your command line base. So anyway, so here it is. Tape uh, fix recovery, and on Windows, I think you should just double. I think you can just double click it, but maybe you have to drag it. I don't remember. And then um, for Mac OS X, I'm just going to go and drag it into there. So, here's my iPhone, and here's Terminal. Go ahead and hit Enter, and it's going to wait for my device to be set up into the FU mode. And it's going to prompt me to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it right now, because it's going to, you're going to see in a minute, it's going to say continuously waiting for DFU, waiting for DFU. So we're going to go ahead and put that in now. Well, you're going to hold the power button and the home button here, and you're just going to basically put in DFU for it. So. When the screen pops off, wait about two seconds, and then you can release. And you see right now it's repetitively warning me, device must be in DFU mode to continue. Once this kicks in and stops telling you that, you know your device is in DFU mode. There it goes. And on your iPhone, you're going to have a bunch of, uh, you're going to get a bunch of code popping up on you. There's the white screen. And here is it kicking it out of recovery mode. It's actually pretty cool. I like watching the little letters go down the screen. I think it's pretty cool. And once this process completes, you will have a fully restored iPhone on the latest firmware, at least as of May 7th, 2011. Uh, that, that's iOS 4.3.3. At least that's what I used here. On an iPhone 4, and as I'll show you in a second, the baseband hasn't moved. But I'm not going to pause the video, so I'll just let it go, and you can see how it happens. progress bar
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that little uh, flash of black there. My computer decided it was going to be stupid, so I had to kind of, I guess, restart my computer. But I have prevented my phone from activating, so it did actually get to the screen, but it didn't activate because my iTunes wouldn't open because my computer messed up. So here's the USB cord. I'm going to go ahead and plug it right back in, and we'll pick up right where we left off. So you're going to be at a screen like this, and you probably won't be there for long unless your computer's a douchebag. In which case, then your comp then your phone won't activate like smoothly as mine did. So there you go. It's all activated and ready to go. All I had to do is put. All I had to do is connect it to iTunes, which is right before my computer froze. So here's that. Uh, we can go ahead and unlock it, and I'll show you right now that I am on 433 with the latest baseband. So here's general and about, and here we go. 4.3.3 version number is right there. That's the firmware number right there. And my baseband, as we're going to go ahead and put my hand over top of it, and there is the modem firmware again. Let's see if I can get it in front of the camera. There you go. 2.10.04. So that's how you're able to do it. So again, we all we did is we started the TSS server in Tiny Umbrella, then we connected our phones. Be sure to save your SSH, SHSHs because it doesn't work unless that unless it has that. So if you have problems with that, let me know on Facebook. I think I know how to solve it for you. Um, I don't. I think it's a really rare problem that that happens, but I had it happen to me. And so if you have a problem saving your SHSH blobs with uh, Tiny Umbrella, visit us on Facebook at facebook.com/hottip and just ask me about it. I'll take care of you. Uh, but other than that, that's how you do it, and you're ready to jailbreak with Red Snow. If you want to jailbreak with Red Snow uh, using the latest version of Red Snow, which the supports 4.3.3 untethered, go ahead and click the video right there, and I'll be sure to get you that tutorial, and you can walk you through the processes of doing that. Awesome. See ya.